Oh, not bad, not bad. Oh, wow, no glitches. Oh, it's working, guys. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the Aether SX2, some overview of the settings, and try to do some trial and error. So we're going to use Shadow of the Colossus as the benchmark. So the device that I'm holding right now is the Realme GT 5G on a Snapdragon 888 processor with a 12GB of RAM and a 256 memory. After a few hours of testing the Aether SX2, I was really uh, impressed using it. While testing this on a Snapdragon 870, I had no issues at all. If you're new here, don't forget to like and subscribe. This will help me tremendously in making more videos like this. So let's get started. By the way, I'm using an ATV launcher. It is very easy to install. Just go to ATV launcher, you have this. It looks better than the UI version, so yeah. So when you go inside the Aether SX2, we're going to test the Shadow of Colossus as the base uh, benchmark for um, testing. I tried to play it with the Daemon PS2 emulator, but sadly, uh, there's a lot of glitches, glowing, glowing. Um, what else? Um, we did some hacks, tons of skip frames. Yeah, so. Okay, let's go, let's start. So right now it's running on default. Okay, so if you want to turn on your on-screen display, so you can turn on your VPS, the speed, the resolution, CPU usage, it's very quite important. So, okay, let's go. So it's there. The frame rate is currently dipping. Audio crackling. Not bad, not bad. Even in default. Compared to Daemon PS2, um, the game was very glitchy on Daemon PS2, so even in default. But still, there's dipping of frames. When you went to an open, op open scene, the frame just dropped from 60 to 30. We did adjust. Let's just put it in normal. Let's just try to do an extreme adjustment. Graphics. Upscale. Oh no, no, no. We don't need that at the moment. Let's just turn off this. How about we underclock it to 1%. Let's try this. How about we enable affinity control? Nothing happens. System. Let's put this on normal. Usually we'll, we just need to adjust some of the settings here. Let's see how this goes. How about the graphics? Oh, maybe we can try to change it to Vulcan. Oh, it's even worse. Let's go back to the scene where we did get some 60 FPS. Oh, now it's running on 60s. Toggle frame limit. Not bad, not bad. Whoa, this is without any glitches. It feels like I'm running with a PS2. So far, so good. I think it depends on the scene, whatever you did some. Um, changes on the scene, um, there will be dips. Yeah, right now we're getting closer to the mountain. I'm getting a noticeable frame drop.
some high frame rate here. Snapdragon 88. So we just need to follow some of the settings that I did.
I would say um, you guys can play around with the underclocking, the cycle rate and the cycle skip. I think skipping frame, I'm not sure, but it doesn't look like it's skipping frame. If I, um, I notice that when it's it's lagging at a 80%, um, I would put some a normal speed and increase on it, like add some 10 or something. So then add, and then I also did enable some of the textures. I highly recommend turning this tree on. So the first one is preload textures. It gives more improvement for the performance of some of the games, I would say. There's a major difference when you turn off the throttle present rate. I'm not sure what's this, but it says disabling this option will ensure every frame that the console renders is displayed to the screen. For optimal frame pacing, if you're having difficulties maintaining full speed or are getting audio glitches, try enabling. Oh, okay, okay. So I highly recommend um, turning on those. If you're having, uh, if you're not getting some full speed, I would suggest um, turning on those and adjusting the normal speed. getting some full speed here That's the Shadow of Colossus. Um, this is one of the hardest games to emulate on um, the PS2 emulator. Um, yeah, we did some um, very great improvement on emulating the game compared to the previous emulator. Um, I would highly recommend adjusting those settings and following those settings on different um, glitches. So if you, you're not getting any full speed, I would recommend um, turning on those settings. Okay, so that's all I got from now. I did enjoy um, testing the Aether SX2. I would probably do more some game test video on the Aether SX2 emulator. I also want to know your thoughts about this new emulator. So if you have any comments or suggestion or question, just drop them below and I'll try to answer you back. As always, have a good day everyone. Peace.